Hi fellas, in this video I'm going to show you how to export more than 1000 results from LinkedIn search because as you know on LinkedIn searches you only get uh, 100 pages of 10 results. So here if I go on the last page I can go further because LinkedIn won't let me uh, click on the button next. So the search results are limited to 1000 results. So to bypass this limit and to export more than 1000 search results we are going to split your search into several chunks of less than 1000 results. Then when we have that, we are going to put these URLs into a LinkedIn automation tool that is called Texo to export all the search results. And if you want to know how to bypass this limit even more, I will also show you how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to export up to 2500 results from your searches in one export. So to split our search into several chunks, we are going to use the search bar here. If you already have keywords in the search bar, you should delete them because this is not a good filter to find leads. Why? Because this search bar here will look into the whole profile of your prospect. So it will look for keywords in schools, in recommendation, in skills, in job experiences that were 10 years ago. So this is actually a good filter to uh, to find leads. If you are looking for leads or you are looking to recruit someone, uh, you should use here this filter title because this filter will only look for your keywords into the title, the current title of uh, the profiles here. And basically, if you use that search bar instead of this filter here, you will have really messy results with really unqualified leads. So it's better to delete what you have here and to use uh, that filter instead. If you already have a keyword in your search bar, LinkedIn won't let you like delete it like this. You must go to the search bar and delete everything between keywords and network here with the two signs here. So all this part in the URL, I'm going to delete it, add this sign, click on enter and LinkedIn will load the page here without the keywords in the search bar. So once you have your search bar here empty, we are going to be able to start splitting the search. So for that, we are going to use keywords and keyword exclusions using LinkedIn Boolean search. If you don't know what LinkedIn Boolean search is, I will leave a link to a complete tutorial in the top right of this video. But basically it's a simple programmatic language that will allow you to send a specific request to the LinkedIn database. For now, we are just going to add a keyword that is likely to like group a small chunk of our leads in our search. So here I have advertising agencies. So I will check if some of them have the keyword paid in their profile. And here I have the first chunk of less than 1000 results. This is exactly what I want. If your chunk has more than 1000 results in it, you should switch the keywords and uh, switch the keyword and uh, find another one. Here, this is perfect because I get uh, 865 results. So I'm going to copy that URL here and put it into my Google Sheet. And then here, I'm going to use LinkedIn Boolean search to exclude the profile from these results. So I had written paid. So now I will write not paid and this will exclude all the profiles with paid in them. And as you can see here, the profile has been deleted from the search results. And to uh, build our several chunks, we are going simply to uh, repeat that operation. So let's say now I want to uh, get uh, Facebook ads agencies. So I will write Facebook and here, I have another chunk of more than 300 results. I will take that chunk, put it in my Google Sheet. Then I'm going to exclude these profiles by adding not. And then I will repeat the process. Now I will write Instagram. And here I have another chunk. And then I can write not Instagram, but Google. And I will have another chunk and just repeat the operation like this. The only thing to know is that if you uh, write two keywords, like let's say, so brand consulting, for example, if you write two keywords like this, you must add quotes to look for the exact expression because if you don't write brand consulting between quotes, uh, LinkedIn will look for profiles with brand and consulting separately in the profile. If you add quotes, around brand consulting, it will look for the exact expression uh, brand consulting. So let's press enter here. And I have another chunk 
which is really small, but we, we take it anyway for this tutorial. And here we just repeat that operation until our last chunk is less than 1000 results. So once you have all your chunks into your Google Sheet here, we are going to use a tool called Texo to export them into a CSV file. So Texo is a LinkedIn automation tool with a 14 day free trials. You will be able to do that for free and I will leave the link to access Texo into uh, the description. And you will just have to download the Chrome extension and follow the onboarding process. To get to that page here, you go to Automation Store and you choose LinkedIn in the platform and you click here on LinkedIn People Search Export. That automation just right here. Then here we can uh, select between several options. So if we have a single input, uh, meaning that we uh, just have a single URL, a Google Sheet or a CSV. So here in that case, we are going to uh, download here our Google Sheet as a CSV and drag and drop it into uh, Texo so Texo can get all the URLs inside uh, the Google Sheet. We select the column chunks and we can select also a limit per um, uh, number of results in our Google Sheet. Here we want to extract all the leads. So I'm just going to click on run just right here. And basically here Texo will start to export all these different search URLs, you will receive an email notification when all your leads are exported. So you can see here that the export is running to save time. I will show you uh, another export I launched recently. So for that, I will click on uh, see data so you can get a glimpse of the data that is exported by Texo. So here um, you get so the full name, first name, last name, headline, job, company name, you got two versions of the of the URL. You got like the public URL, which is modifiable by the user, which is customizable. And you have a unique ID uh, URL. So this unique ID is given by LinkedIn and this one can be changed by the user. For example, if you store profiles into your favorite outreach tool or your CRM, you should better use the URL of the, with the unique ID because if you store the profile public URL, maybe someday your uh, these profiles will change the URL and so your URL will become invalid and it will be a 404 basically. So it's better to store the URL uh, with the unique ID. You also have the sales navigator profile ID. You have the URL with the search connection you have uh, with these people. Basically, yeah, tons of data you can use for your prospecting to upload in your CRM. And then if you want to download that data, you can simply click here on download CSV or you can open it uh, directly into a Google Sheet if you connect your Gmail account. Texo will basically push all the data directly uh, into Google Sheet without this uh, download step. So you can see that this method works, but it is a bit painful to do the splitting work every time you will lose a lot of time. So if you have budget, and you are really serious about making LinkedIn your first lead generation channel, you must consider moving to LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is the LinkedIn premium search engine. I am on the LinkedIn Sales Navigator search engine right now. And the cool thing about Sales Navigator is that I get access to 100 pages, but these pages get 25 results. So I get access to 2,500 results maximum. And if I get more than that, I need to split the search also. But it's more than the double than with a LinkedIn free search engine. And if you want to export these leads into a CSV file, you can do it with the Eva Boot Chrome extension, which is a LinkedIn sales navigator data scraper. I will also leave the link in the description. This search has um, 52 million results, so way too much. We're going to uh, click on export with Eva Boot here and we're going to see that uh, Eva Boot will analyze the search and ask us if we want to extract the first 2500 results or modify uh, our search. So here I will click on extract first 2500 results. Then I will select if I want the professional emails uh, with my export, click on launch export, and then I can just like name a search and launch my export here. Once my export is ready, I will receive an email notification and I will be able to download these leads into a CSV file. So if you want to export more than 2,500 leads from LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you also have to use a splitting technique, but this splitting technique is much simpler than the technique I've shown you on the LinkedIn free search engine. And if you want to check how to do that, I've made another video on how to split 
LinkedIn Sales Navigator searches, you can access it by clicking on the link that will appear just right here. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to your channel and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.